Hello viewers and welcome to our episode about marking an 800 meter start line on a non 800 meter track. Now I've skipped up a three lane track which is not going to be 400 meters long now. Um, this you have to already have 400 meter start lines now. These marks I've drawn in, these are your 400 meter start lines. You can see that in lane one the 400 meter start line is not the finish line because the lane is not quite 400 meters. Lane three is 400 meters, but your inside lanes, because you've got limitations in the size of your oval, you've made your track smaller. All right. So the first part is finding where lane one needs to start to 800 meters. And this is pretty straightforward. You measure the distance between here and here. You just take a nice little measurement between the 400 meter start line and the finish. Let's call this L, this length. Then you go out from the 400 meter mark, the same length L. And that forms the internal mark for your 800 meter start line. So if you start in lane one and run around in lane one, you end up 800 meters after passing the finish line twice. Next, you're gonna need a lot of pegs and a 100 meter tape. What you start off with is you head around the curve long way down right to the bottom of the screen here and you place a peg and you place another peg about here and between these two pegs place a lot of pegs just the more you add the more accurate your 800 meter mark is going to get so here i'm just going to add a whole bunch of pegs along here about equally spaced looking good so far and those are our pegs that we use to measure our tape from now what you do is you attach the tape to this point here now you attach the end here the zero point right here and this will never move for the rest of the calculations then you run the tape along lane one on the inside of the track and pull it tight to the start of the 800 meter start the start line there pull it tight and you get some length now that length is going to be completely unknown and you're just going to have to remember that length so i recommend clamping your thumb down really tight on that tape pulling it and keeping it from actually what's on the inside of every single one of these pegs now you've made a mark on the track either with paint or put a peg down there and you can use a bit of whatever you use in the marker track and just put a mark there then what you do is you march away from the edge out to the mark on the next lane out and once you're here you go back to that length and pull it towards the lane and you notice that it starts to curve a little bit inwards and the tape it doesn't touch this peg anymore it comes off a bit earlier so the tape touches only this one and it slowly grades off the curve and meets there and you mark this as your next point then you head out again a bit further and you find again that it doesn't quite, it's not a straight line. You're starting to form the basis for your 800 meter curve. Once you're here, you find your next point and it will be dragging off even earlier on your set of pegs and you'll meet up with your point here. Then you go out another lane and repeat the process, drag it off the pegs, pull it tight and measure to the same length as you did for lane one. Then, once you've got your markings, you can do this every half a lane if you want more accurate markings. And you can continue doing this for every single lane that you've got, doesn't matter how many. As long as your pegs go far enough around the corner that it doesn't pull off the final peg. It always has to be touching at least two pegs to do this accurately. Now, once you've got your marks, you can simply trace the starting curve. And bing, bang, boom, you've got an 800 meter start line. 